Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned Webpack Series, Episode 8 in the series. We'll be looking at code splitting today, and this is the first in a couple of these, and we'll be looking at some additional ways to do it. So, in this one, we'll be using a uh, common.js format. Uh, the output for this, we'll just show real quick, has output.js, it has the module system from Webpack, chunk loading logic, the entry point, which we'll have show in a moment, and then module A's and B's, and then one uh, dot bundle dot JS will be the additional one, and that will also have module C's and B's. You'll see that they are loaded via JSONP. So package is rather small. We've just changed a few things. I added a few flags here for you to see as we display. The webpack config is also very small, uh, just to keep it really simple. A, B, C, and D are just comments for the modules, and now let's go ahead and look at the example. So here we're using CommonJS to do require and require.ensure. We're going to grab each of the uh, modules, A and B. C will make it uh, be in require.ensure. This will make it available to Webpack, but execute it on demand. So that means it's not going to be loaded into the main bundle. Uh, B and D are also required within the callback. B is detected. Uh, by the fact that so this is just saying, hey, do something, and it's being detected by Webpack that it's already required, so it'll be optimized out of the second bundle. It'll just be included in the main one, and then D will be in the second bundle as well. So let's take a look at the output files here. There's the JSONP and the chunking format, installing Webpack requiring information, etc. And then finally, we have the uh, actual code here. And this is what is going to get the first entry. This is the entry in. And then we're going to include both module A and module B. And you can see they're clearly here and here. And then when we look at the other one, we're going to have the webpack JSMP. And here is module C and module D. So that's basically it. It's really simple. Um, next time we'll be looking at how to use them with loaders. So thank you. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and Check out our newsletter as well. Thank you.